I saw this article come out. Rami Youssef, who had that show Rami, we discussed on the podcast. Yeah. Um, he's a Egyptian. If somebody has a account, by the way, I really want to watch season two when it comes out. So please slide me your information. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Um, yeah. So so he's a Muslim American, and uh, he won actually the Golden Globe um, for his acting role in Rami. And uh, this article I saw. Um, passed around a lot it said rami yusuf won a golden globe took the stage and said allahu akbar that's big um and then people are really praising that Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is very different than the reaction they had when the show came out yeah um did you guys feel any sort of way about him saying that do you guys agree that that's big I think that you can say that and people not, you know, be looking around. Right. That's that's big. He's like normalizing it in a way. Sure. Um, I think that he could go up there and say that in a place where it probably did make a lot of people uncomfortable is a power move in a good way. Like, Mm. I'm I'm going to have this in front of you and I'm going to say it because this is my speech and I'm going to say it and it might make you feel uncomfortable. Mm. But all all praise be to God. I'm saying the same thing that you probably are. Yep. Read it. I I think um, when we pass around ideas like this um and it's probably true in other communities too but i know this for the muslim community where we get really excited about ideas Mm -hmm. and we either will you know in a sense like cancel somebody completely or we'll like praise it and be like oh my god this is huge this is everything and i see this as kind of that where it's just Mm -hmm. like is it that big of a deal that he said that like we had Muhammad Ali who really paved the way of like Muslims and media and the way that we're Mm -hmm. the things that we can say even Mike Tyson you know he used to say things like this um and at the time they were criticized Mm -hmm. and it wasn't cool and and Rami he can come up and say it comfortably in a comedic way actually the way he said it it was just kind of like I want to thank my God uh Allahu Akbar everyone laughed actually um and it was kind of like he can say it and it's you know like is what are we really praising here you know if anything like, the path that muhammad ali did pave and that he can say sure, comfortably sure but like why if people said one thing about like you know this is what we feel about the show and this is not a representation of muslim americans and this and that and then he says something like this and then we're like oh you, you just have to look or talk the part mm-hmm. uh, as long as you know you're getting the message out there or whatever but whatever you do otherwise we don't really care or support yeah. You know what I mean? Are, mm-hmm. you're, ta- you're criticizing the people, right? That are sort of criticizing and, him. And the people that like are really praising this article. Yeah, or, like, praising what the he article did. and not the show. And they're like flipping. Like why is he on the stage? I don't think mo- like a lot of people know that. Yeah. What's the show about? I don't think everybody has watched that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're praising the fact. It's The headline is just Muslim American wins award and says Allahu Akbar on stage. And people are like, oh, like yeah. we made it, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we don't really know yeah. what's you know and those same people were bashing the show exactly they they were like saying yo why does a normal muslim guy have to do drugs or this or that like in the show why Mm -hmm. can't he be like super halal and stuff and then when he says allah akbar the same people are like oh that's amazing to be honest i think that this whole thing the show what he's saying all this is just playing a role in normalizing Islam in everybody's eyes. We have to have these people who care a lot and these people who don't care at all, people who get angry, people who get happy, for it to just become a normal thing in society for this to happen and us not blink an eye. And if that's just a part of the process, I appreciate the Yeah, process. I think we agree with you. I think what we're saying is like the people that mm-hmm. are responding to, okay, this is okay, this is not okay. That's what I'm saying. And, is I think that those conversations, yeah. as much as they are annoying to us, and you know other people who you know whether enjoy the show or don't want it to be a big deal yeah i'm saying these conversations almost have to take place for it to become normalized in society yeah i'm also just saying like you know if you're listening you see something like this don't get so excited and if you see something that's controversial don't get so annoyed. i think at the end of the day especially what a lot of religion teaches you is just like you should focus on yourself and not judge other people in that way because you know you yourself have a lot of work to do yeah and i'm gonna say this like if you don't agree with the show because it's not muslim enough for you make a show that's muslim enough for you sure there you go or watch rhythms of faith or just almost don't, out <laughs> just don't watch it yeah don't just don't watch it like 